One year ago, I made a couple of videos about a woman from Cameroon named Chica Ordery. At first, I thought that she was a scammer trying to get money out of me. Turns out that she was a real person in need of a stomach surgery that could only be performed by a competent plastic surgeon. And there's one in Miami who's up for the task. The problem was that it was gonna cost $40,000. Well, long story short, we raised the money and you guys made it happen. If you missed how it all went down, what are you still doing here? Go watch the full series and get caught up. But for those of you who have been following along, let's give you an update. Well, we started out with a goal to sell 5,000 books and we've nearly done that. And we've also sold a bunch of digital downloads to get us to our goal. In fact, we've raised a little more than our goal and we've got around $52,000 in the bank with Chica Ordery's name on it. And we are continuing to sell Chica Ordery's book because as we've learned, stuff happens. For example, we weren't really planning on a global pandemic. It's shut down travel all over the world and Chica Ordery's been trying to apply for a visa, but the US Embassy isn't approving non-immigrant visas to anyone in Cameroon right now. Not until this COVID thing gets under control anyway. But the good news is that we have a vaccine. And in less than a year, the scientific community has developed a vaccine that's 95% effective at fighting COVID-19, and they are rolling it out fast. And I think the experts are pretty much in agreement that we've seen the worst of this disease by now, and you can see that the daily average of new cases is finally dropping. So I'm not gonna tell you what to do, but if you do get a chance to take the vaccine, it might help this story move a little faster. I'm just throwing that out there. Another bummer with waiting is that Chica Ordery's passport has expired, so we've gotta get her a new one. She's gotta apply for it, she's gotta get a new picture taken, yada, 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 and all that costs money. So I went to send her some money through good old Western Union, and I think you know where this is going. They put the payment on hold. So then I had to call up Western Union and see what the freaking deal was, and I should have recorded the conversation for you guys, but I totally forgot but it sounded something like this. I said, hey, my transfer to my friend is on hold. Do you know what the deal is? And they're like, yeah, we need to ask you some questions. Do you know this woman personally? When was the last time you saw her in person? And I'm like, is it a requirement to have seen them in person in order to send them money? And they're like, well, there's been a lot of people sending money to scammers and we believe that you may be a victim of fraud. And I'm like, I'm not being scammed. This is my friend. I have a whole YouTube series about her if you care to watch. And then she's like, please hold while we check on this. And then like 10 seconds later, she comes back and she's like, we're sorry to inform you that after an investigation, we won't be able to proceed with your transfer. And I'm like, investigation? You were gone for like 10 seconds. And then she's like, your money will be refunded to you. Okay, thanks, bye. All right, this is really starting to piss me off. I'm not being scammed. So now I've got to come up with a new way to get Chica Ordery the money. So I think if I can get money to someone in a part of Africa where scamming isn't very common, I can have them send the money to Chica Ordery in Cameroon. But what African country is so peaceful and wonderful that nobody would ever dare scam somebody? Liberia. Liberia, of course, my old stomping grounds. I actually reached out to a new friend of mine named Augustine. If you don't know about Augustine, you really should check out what he does. He manufactures sanitary pads for young girls in Liberia. He's creating jobs, he's keeping kids in school, and now he was gonna help me get money to Chica Ordery. So I sent Augustine the money through Western Union and they are charging me a $34 fee. And then Augustine collects the money and he turns right around and sends the money to Chica Ordery in Cameroon. And they charged him a $34 fee. So to send $400 to Chica Ordery, it cost me $68. That's 17%, and that's insane. We had to sell six of Chica Ordery's books just to pay for the fees to wire her money for her passport. And now you know why we're gonna keep selling her book, because of unexpected crap like this. Which is why I wanna say that if you like this story and you wanna see Chica Ordery get her surgery and you wanna be part of the solution, then you should head on over to bythegraceofgod.com and pick up Chica Ordery's book. And, for a limited time, you can get the digital download of her book for $1. That's right, for $1, you can get the ebook of It Shall Come to Pass when you use the promo code CHICA. So I just wanna thank you guys for helping the story get this far. I think that we're very close, and every time you watch one of my videos or buy a book, you help us get one step closer. So there's your update. Keep sending those good vibes Chica's way. This is our year, and I can't be more excited to see how it's going to end. Hi, Chica Audrey. When I came across your story a few months ago, I was struggling to deal with 
a the side effects of a brain tumour. I've been struggling for nearly three years. So your story has put this in, put my situation into perspective. Wish you all the best for the future. Speedy recovery. Hi Chikordry, I just wanted to say hi from the Netherlands and wanted to um, just remind you that it shall come to pass. Never lose hope and we're praying to God that you get your surgery as soon as possible. Hey Chico Ordery, this is Nick. I just wanted to send you this quick message and say thank you so much for inspiring so many people, including myself, with your book and your story. I just want to encourage you to stay strong, stay the course, and be patient. Know that so many of us are praying for you and so many of us want to see good things for you. I just want to remind you that people love you. People that you've never met love you. And I want you to know, through the strength of God, anything is possible. Someday you will get your surgery. It shall come to pass. Chikodri, if you're watching me right now, I want you to believe that everything is going to be okay. It's just a matter of time. After the lockdown and everywhere is open for travel, believe you'll be okay. I've been following your story since it came out. And I want to say that I'm so proud of you for learning how far you have come. Please stay strong. Please don't give up. I just wanted to let you know that we all go through troubles in life and it shall come to pass sooner or later and hopefully yours is sooner. I'll be looking for your update and I just wanted to know that we're all looking forward to it and that we love you and we care.